This is Effort Now Daily, and do I really sound like that? Jaime, are you going for some sort of speed talking record? Jeez, and yeah, and I'm actually winning. Ew, 360p, close to potato quality. <laughs> All right, that's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is our Pocket Now Daily recap for last week. So on Monday, I asked you if you use the SMS bundled application that you get on your phone or do you use other alternatives because the news were about Google fixing their Hangouts application in order to bring better SMS integration aside from the fact that it brings MMS support, etc. We have 391 comments out of which one of them says, no, I stick to normal messaging because I use WhatsApp more often. And in my case, that's the same thing. WhatsApp has pretty much dominated my messaging and the messaging of almost everybody. So I guess SMS pretty much will die soon. And Pedro Manuel says, Pocket Now, yes, I use Hangouts for SMS. Only complaint is you can't separately snooze Hangouts IM and Hangouts SMS. My biggest deal with Hangouts is if you're using Samsung Galaxy phones, they integrate the first and second day and then they forget about it. So you get two alerts for everything and it's just totally annoying. I guess that's the reason why I don't use it. Then another commenter says, I use stock SMS application. I don't really understand why people need to use some other. Why? Well, some stock SMS applications from Galaxy phones particularly use a black background that looks terrible and you get uses like for example chat heads from Facebook which is actually quite cool so there is a point for alternatives. Then on Tuesday I asked you your thoughts about the new Google Edition tablets for example the LG G-Pad 8.3 that just came out and the Sony Xperia Z Ultra Google Editions aside from the new white Nexus 7 and well we have 261 comments out of which Akmal says agreed I prefer the Sony Z1 Google Edition over the Z Ultra and yeah I agree too. That was a terrible Google Edition phone that I still do not understand. Then Salal says Google should actually ask people for Google Edition iPhone and iPads and I'd like to see their reaction and we got 14 thumbs up for this one. That's the only reason why it's there, but it's never going to happen. Then Timothy Easley says the new LG G-Pad Google Edition is very tempting for next tablet. Hmm, it is. I did actually like the LG tablet, even though I don't like the LG UI. It does feel great in the hand, even though when you competed against the Nexus 7, that is one tough pick. Then on Wednesday, I asked you what music streaming service do you use because the news were about Spotify going free for mobile devices, at least on tablets, and then on mobile devices like smartphones, you get a little catch where you have to shuffle your songs, but it's still better than Pandora. We have 501 comments out of which Cesar says, I don't have any available in my country, yay for Romania. And you know, here in Honduras, I don't have it either. What I use is a VPN. You, all you need to do is actually purchase Spotify the first time. And once you do that, you can actually use it without the need of a VPN. So. I think that's actually doable for everybody. Then Luis Anteno says, Google Play Music All Access, great service. The problem with this is that sadly, Google services are not available in mostly every other country that's not the United States and part of Europe. And that is really a big problem because here VPNs don't actually work. They do a little bit, but you have to actually be using it to have it active. So it is a problem that Google Music is sadly not available everywhere, but for everybody else in the United States, it is cool, just not the best service though. Then Matias Johnson says, I was a pirate, but nowadays I'm using Spotify Premium just for the simplicity both now and then. And I have to agree with this. We were all pirates at some point. And the reason why I love Spotify is because there are a ton of songs out there that I love but that I don't really want to buy I just want to listen to them every now and then and that's great to have a service like Spotify for that then on Thursday I asked you if you would buy a micro USB flash drive for your smartphone or tablet because the news were that Sony had just built one for themselves and we've got 701 comments out of which Jordan says poor Apple users and I have to agree with this man definitely then Michael best says I'll definitely buy a micro USB flash drive it'll come in handy for an Android backups and yes you nailed the perfect usage scenario I don't really want to be carrying backups on my phone and there are some old photos that I don't want to carry on my phone either But it's great to have a flash drive in case I lose my phone get it wet or whatever I don't have things on the phone. I can use them on whatever other phone I get then Samir says Nexus problem solved and yes That would be the perfect solution for Nexus devices with all their storage limitations then on Friday, I asked you what sort of innovations would you expect from the recent internal merger that Samsung had just done? What they did was merge their digital imaging department with their smartphone department and mobile, uh, which we do expect to see happening starting next year. We have 145 comments, out of which Angelo says flexible displays, new UI, and better camera that match the Lumia 10 2015-20. Yes, this would be perfect. I would love to see a Samsung phone with great imaging quality. They kind of nailed it this year. This year's camera is on 
on their phones are great. They were not so good last year, but we are expecting something better for next year because this is the future. Then Bakir says 3D photo capturing more high res slow motion video in video mode that can play the video back forward after capturing it. Um, you know, we've had, had 3D photography on phones and it sucked. Uh, not everybody uses slow motion. It's great things to have, but this is mainly software. I mean, what we really need are better optics for phones. And that's really what we want to see with this whole merger and everything. And hopefully no big camera humps. Then so that says Nokia Lumia 1020 type Samsung iteration and Android. Basically a phone 4.5 inch or 5 inch with a good camera, good specifications, and with removable battery and micro SD slot. Yes, those two last things. What is the point about having a beautiful camera on that Lumia 1020 if you do not have expandable storage or a replaceable battery. And yes, you can get that big accessory to get those things, but then you come to the point of why would I want to buy or make my phone more bulky if I could do it on a Samsung phone with everything replaceable? And that's really a good point. That's it for a Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want to get your comments featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. And number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.